Hello everyone, I am Kavan Elizabeth, a wedding photographer in San Diego, as well as an owner of a bridal boutique that is also here in San Diego. Today's video is actually going to be a little bit less of a joyful topic than a lot of my videos, and that is because I am going to be talking about how you can honor a deceased family member at your wedding. year I have actually had several couples who have had a parent pass away whether it was in the last year or a really long time ago and it's definitely something that I am very sensitive to I want to make sure that throughout the day we are honoring that that family member is not present and unable to be there because they are deceased and I do have a lot of couples who are asking me how can we honor them at the wedding so I have a couple of really great ideas for you guys today if this is something like whether it is your parent or a sibling or maybe an aunt and uncle or a grandparent um, it's particularly hardest I think when it is more of the immediate family I've had a couple brides recently who lost their mothers so that is something that is really hard for some brides and it can be really difficult going throughout the wedding day without getting too upset at certain moments and so I want to let you guys know if you're going through that that is very normal of course you want to enjoy your wedding day as much as possible but it is normal to have those moments throughout the day where you just think I really wish this person was here and it can hit really hard um, so if you're going through that, know that you are not alone. Please definitely maybe see a grief counselor or talk to other people about it. Find a support group so that you can get through your wedding day as best as possible. But it, when it does come to honoring a deceased family member or maybe even a deceased friend at your wedding, there are a couple different things you can do. And of course, things that I haven't mentioned here that maybe you've thought of, please leave those down in the comments below in case there are others who would like some more ideas. One of the main things that I see at weddings to honor deceased family members, and this is often something I'll see even just of grandparents, is that they'll have a memorial table. So they'll have photographs of whoever has passed away, or sometimes it might even be somebody who's really ill that can't make it to the wedding. They will still honor them on that table. So I've seen it be just one person on a memorial table and I've seen it be several people on a memorial table. So you can absolutely have framed photographs printed of your deceased loved ones and that's a really beautiful way to honor them at your wedding. Another thing that I've seen is brides carrying a little piece of their mother's dress around their bouquet or perhaps a small photo attached to the bouquet so that they're carrying a little piece of their mother or whoever it might be with them around the entire wedding day. In addition to that, I've had brides take their mother's wedding dress and take pieces from that, wrap it around the stems. I had another bride who took one of her mother's scarves and the color matched the wedding palette and she had it wrapped around her bouquet. So there are things that you can do like that that are really lovely. Another thing you could simply do is have a few pieces that belong to that family member and ask your photographer if they could definitely get some shots of those during the getting ready. So maybe with their details, I've had brides hand me handkerchiefs from a loved one. I've had them hand me little photos or pieces of art that they've made or jewelry that belonged to them that they might be wearing. So all sorts of things like that can be really beautiful to photograph. And that is something that you definitely need to point out to your photographer because I might not realize that this bracelet over here, while I might get a photograph of it, knowing that it belonged to someone's late mother or grandmother or somebody special to them, then I'm going to really make sure that I have a standout shot of that piece. So it's not just a supporting element in my photo, it's actually the main subject of the photo. So that for me is something I really want to know because if nobody told me, I wouldn't know and it might not get as much attention in the photos as it should. So definitely communicate these sorts of things with your photographer. One other thing that I've seen at a wedding is a bride of mine actually had a framed photograph of her mother placed on a chair at the front of the ceremony aisle and that chair itself had flowers on it and it was really lovely. The groom, when he walked up the aisle, he also placed a single flower on the mother's chair. It was just a really special moment and it really did feel like she was there watching the wedding with us. And I think that that was just so, so sweet. Another thing that you can do is simply mention your deceased family member in a toast or your vow. I've had couples do all sorts of things. I've had like the groom of the bride who lost her mother mention things about the mother in his toast at the rehearsal dinner or then at the vows during the ceremony. And I've had family members toast to that deceased 
person during their actual reception toast. So all sorts of things that you can do, whether you want it to be decor or a verbal honoring of that person or both, are really lovely ways to do it. Maybe taking a reading or a song that was really personal to your loved one and playing that or having somebody read it. So throwing in special touches like that are really beautiful. Even something so small as taking that person's favorite color and adding that into your wedding, little touches of it, or maybe their favorite flavor of cake. So there's so many things that you can do. If you just think about who they are, what they love, you can take pieces of that and fuse it into your wedding, or you can simply stick with having photos of them as decor with beautiful candles and some flowers on a memorial table. So I hope that these ideas were helpful for you guys. I'm so sorry if this is something that you are trying to navigate and definitely know that whatever you do to honor that person is going to be really lovely. You can't do too little, you can't do too much. So whatever you choose, make yourself feel that you have truly honored that person in a way that feels very true to them. And I think that that will be really lovely. Your guests will certainly appreciate that. I know that you will really feel so great about having that and then having that in the photos too. It will be so nice to just commemorate your wedding and make it feel like that person was there in spirit. And I think that that's such a wonderful thing to do. So I know that this video wasn't really a fun topic, but I hope that it was helpful for some of you and definitely share this video with other friends that you might have who are in a similar position because I think that everybody needs to hear about the different ideas that you can do if you would like to honor a deceased family member or friend at your wedding. See you guys next time. Bye!